In today's video, we are going to talk about semantic colors. Now, if you already don't know what are semantic colors, I'm going to explain and we are going to see and use an online tool called Ever Design System Color Generator that is going to help us build our semantic color scheme. So let's get started. And uh, OK, so first we have to go to this URL colors.ever.design. And you can see over here, here we have uh, an online app where we have Ever Design System Deep Learning Color Generator. And at the top, we have two modes. We have dark mode and we have light theme. So this is the switch. Then we have uh, two separate things over here. One is brand color. Brand color is going to be your main primary color of your design. So uh, let's say if I have a brand color that is going to be uh, something over here. Mm, let's say it is like this. So you can see now it has uh, changed the semantic colors which are going to be my uh, information color, my warning color, my danger color. For example, if there is an error in my app or uh, there is a warning or some information, um, you can say bubble pop up. So these are these colors are going to be helpful. These are actually called semantic colors. So semantic colors, uh, you might have seen a lot of time in different apps where we have different information pop ups like email deleted or um, when, whenever you click on the delete, it is going to show the pop up in a red color that your email has been deleted or if there is a warning that uh, you might delete your emails. So there is a warning sign. So these are the semantic colors. They are going to be like four semantic colors. One is for the success. Uh, one is for the information, just the information. Then we have warning and the danger. Danger is going to be uh, for delete buttons. Also, you can use the same color for delete buttons uh, or remove button, something like that. Maybe the border of the remove, remove colors. So uh, this is a very, very nice tool. And once you have generated all this, you can uh, let's try to uh, check this. So it is going to show me these colors. Let's try to click again. Uh, so let's try. OK, so I like this one. This one is good. Very balanced colors, very specific. So you can export a JPEG file. Uh, which is going to be an image. So let's try to uh, export JPEG file and see how it looks like. So here we have the JPEG file. So it has all different color variation steps like 100, 200, the frequency uh, or the power of the color, lightness to darkness. And let's go back. Okay. So uh, for designers, it is going to be JPEG. For de developers, it is going to be JSON. Nebular theme and UAKitten theme, they, these are their own products. So we are going to use mostly JPEG file. OK, so uh, you can also, uh, I think it, it would be great if they had something like um, maybe a CSS export. I'm not sure JSON export is. Um, Let's try to open this. I'm going to open this one. OK, yes, so it has all different. Uh, let me show you. Uh, here we have it. So it's very difficult for me to record on a 4K screen anyhow. So you can see it, it has different uh, color, primary color. Uh, color info, color warning, color danger, all the different uh, levels uh, like um, lightness to darkness or you can say, okay, so this is a very nice tool. So if you are into colors or you are designing a color for your web app or mobile app where you want to have uh, semantic colors, just try to put your brand color over there and it is going to generate a uh, semantic color system which you can use in your app later on. So let's try this in 
and dark mode okay so looking perfect so that is all my video about uh, semantic colors colors for errors warnings information and success using your app or whenever you are designing your app i hope you have enjoyed this video and if you have any question or comments you can leave them below in the comment section i would love to read them uh, we will meet in another video till then take care bye bye don't make to don't forget to like share and subscribe this video take care bye